so at um, <clears throat> Christmas time this year I bought myself a 3d printer and my 3d printer this is uh, February the 13th and it actually came in on December the 27th uh, let's see according to if that will ever mm, you can't see it that gummy uh, well if the white balance would ever work up you can't see it it uh, says that it has been printing 21 days 7 hours and 42 minutes and it's used 1,485 meters of filament. Well, it's been staying pretty busy. Um, huh. Right now, it's printing a little holder for my Amazon Echo Dot. The dot will fit in the top of it, and it's kind of got a... Uh, sound horn on the bottom that will uh, be a passive amplifier for the echo okay but I printed a little bit of other stuff too I printed a vase I printed an ocarina Obviously, I don't play the ocarina. I printed a little boat. This little boat is called a benchy, and it's kind of a benchmark that just about everybody who buys a 3D printer prints one of these just to compare how well their printer does to other people's printers. I work for a company that makes control valves, so I had to print a control valve. I printed a track in a choo-choo train. I'm working on a chess set. Haven't got all the pieces yet, but I'm working on them. Slowly but surely. I don't even know what you call this. Just a little widgie doodle that I printed. And it's a couple of gears that mesh. Interesting. Hmm. And this is kind of an interesting little deal. This is a marble track. So when you turn this, it brings the steely balls up and they run out the track. And yes, I actually printed that on my 3D printer. Whoops. Hadn't got exactly the right size balls. I printed a little rocket. I've printed all the parts for a radio control airplane it's going to be a flying wing it's going to be the propeller is going to be back here and it's going to go that way but the motor and propeller is going to be back here uh, haven't got all my parts in yet but as soon as I do I'll put it all together and let somebody who knows how to do it fly it 
maybe. I printed these little guys. These are little tea light candles holders that I printed. Yeah, kind of cool. Beth likes them. And I've worked on my printer some. I've uh, printed this little part here, this red part, that helps to direct the airflow from this fan down around the nozzle so that it uh, cools the filament evenly. Uh, of course, I put some googly eyes on my extruder there, which I think it makes it just cute as it can be. Uh, I printed that little blue button when I change filament that helps uh, not hurt my thumb push down a button there. Um, I printed that red part there that's a filament holder that holds the filament spool up and then there's a little uh, ring that the filament goes down through so that it feeds down to the extruder directly. I also uh, couldn't see really well. I couldn't get enough light down there to see exactly what was going on. So I put me a little switch on the side of my power supply over here and put me some LEDs. I put LEDs under here, shining down, and I also put LEDs on the bottom of the extruder so I can see better. So it's just a working. So my printer's been busy and I've been having a lot of fun and um, I printed some other stuff that I even forgot to mention. I printed some parts for one of my buddies at work. He, uh, his child had a broken toy and I printed a replacement part for that. So I'm all the time looking for stuff to print and having a good time doing it. See you later. Bye.